Cattle on the Hill. This is Michael Vanderpool at uh, where my brother Jason Vanderpool is moving until he is finished with another house that uh, he's going to put in this location if things go as planned. It's a beautiful location here outside of Saline County, Missouri, outside of our hometown, uh, Birth City, Marshall, Missouri. I actually spent my teen years up until age 20, age 18 to 13, uh, 13 to 20 in Kansas City, Missouri. But our grandparents and family have always lived in Saline County, even when we lived in Kansas City for all those years. And uh, anyway, this is a beautiful lot. This is a temporary uh, place where my brother's going to stay as they plan and work up to develop uh, to build uh, the house. That'll be really a nice dream come true for him. And uh, it's a beautiful day here in Missouri on a November 6th. Can you believe it? For those of you that are from Missouri, know that it's usually quite cold and today it feels like it feels like spring. It's really nice out here today. And the air is fresh and beautiful. I see cattails down there below some of the wetland and uh, the cattle grazing on the hills. And uh, just uh, over here in front of me where I'm making this video as a boy my father would bring my brother and I and sometimes my cousin out here hunting squirrel, rabbit, quail, uh, pheasant. Um, it was really, really fortunate for us to have such a great father. And in fact, that's where I'm going to go next to visit my father. Um, and uh, my grandfather had also, grandfather Phillips has also uh, taken us out, out here as well. My uncles, Tom and Kenny, uh, also fishing, of course, out of the pond, down at the creek. My grandma Wilma would take us for a walk with a kite, just not but two or three miles from here, and uh, read us stories. And I used to remember Reader's Digest magazine. I remember as a child, all these magazines, my grandmother always dreamed to travel, my grandmother Wilma. So did my other grandmother, Dorothy. But my grandmother Wilma would show me these magazines, and she had this big seashell and it was a handful and she'd say listen put it up to your ear it said that you can hear in there the ocean and because of my father's fear of flying i had promised myself i'd never fly i adopted his fear and at the age of 34 after some extreme life events i decided that i was going to fly the first country i ever flew to was ukraine and i've been flying ever since in over 28 different countries i've been in five countries long term expat style, uh, but I spend a lot of time here in the United States of America. Um, so here I am. I'm happy to be at the Phillips Family Farms, at Harris, Phillips Harris Family Farms, and um, I was with my mother today. Had a wonderful meal at Stonehenge. We'll see Spectre tonight at the movies here. I'm really looking forward to that James Bond stuff. Actually, I'm trying to get away from that, but I'll like to see it on the movie screen. It'll be nice. That's a joke for you people who follow me on Facebook and YouTube as well. Uh, anyway, uh, and the locals here, I know I've talked to a couple of doctors and uh, love those people. I got some great doctor chiro uh, of chiropractic, Dr. Schroyer, uh, medical doctor, Dr. Uh, Karen Paprick at Missouri Valley Physicians. Uh, those are wonderful, wonderful, caring, professional men and uh, they understand my story well and they always give me some good comments or good advice on on my life and and here so here i am i'm back at home and i'm also going to say that i'm looking forward to seeing my uncles i haven't seen them yet they may just drive up here who knows but uh this is a beautiful day this is uh, the kind of place that i spent my weekends as a child not not this particular lot but as i said over here that's where we used to hunt but just about three miles, two or three miles from here, every weekend as a, a young boy, and my brother and I would be at my grandma and grandpa Phillips or with my Uncle Tom, and we would be out in the country. We'd be at the country, as we'd call it. That's how we spoke here in the great American Midwest with our general standard American English and our uh, Midwest accent, which is the most correct and preferred accent to use in most movies and journalism, by the way, for those that want to check that out and see how correct our English is 
in terms of American English being the best and, and considered the, the most correct, uh, you can look that up on Wikipedia. Yeah, because it's funny because I spent a lot of time in foreign countries and people will say, well, this is how I pronounce this or that because maybe they had a British teacher or some other teacher that doesn't even know English like we do. And I'm always thinking to myself, but I don't often say that, hey, my accent is the official general standard, general American standard English, American English. And it's the one that Hollywood movies and journalists and media uh, companies use the most. It is officially the preferred general American standard English is the Midwestern accent. So anyway, it's, uh, it's interesting. I didn't know that until about 10 years ago when I'd spent some time in the country of Georgia. So, this is where my brother's coming, and he'll build a house. I'm really happy about that. That'll be cool. I'll do that one day too, but uh, probably do some more traveling before we get to that point. It won't be too much longer.